You have got the email you were waiting for days or maybe weeks. Now it's just four loop interviews between you and your dream job. But wait a second, you haven't done a lead code in months and now you don't know where to start. This video is for you. Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to prepare for interviews at a short notice and I hope you'll find it useful. I also highly suggest you to check out my lead code tips playlist which contains the most asked data structures and most common coding patterns on lead code. So you've just got few days or maybe a week to prepare for your interviews. Let me show you the steps I would take. The first thing I do is to go into the actual job description and look out for specific things they have mentioned in the requirements, such as knowledge of an object-oriented programming language or a particular framework or technology. For example, if in the job description they ask candidates to have a good knowledge of Java and Spring Boot, it is highly likely that during the interviews you will be asked OOP concepts and Java knowledge questions and perhaps some questions relating to Spring Boot. If you previously worked with these technologies, these questions should be pretty straightforward to answer, but if you don't feel confident, I suggest you to look around for the most asked questions on those topics. I think the part that most people stress about when preparing for loop interviews are the coding questions. It's not easy to be able to get through the thousands of lead code questions in a short amount of time, so you need to narrow down the scope to what you will actually be asked during the interviews. There are a few simple ways you can do this. Let's start with the first one. Go onto the Glassdoor page of the company you will be interviewing with and go to the interview section. Now select the role you have applied for and go through the experience of other candidates. Most of the time you will see that they have shared questions they were asked during their interviews. Make a list of them and then divide them in categories such as technical knowledge questions, lead code questions and system design questions. Now let's repeat the same process but this time let's go onto the discussion tab on lead code. On this page search for the discussions related to the company you have applied for and you might find questions that other candidates were recently asked. Again, add these to the list of other questions you got from Glassdoor. Now it's time to take the list you created in the previous step and look at the lead code questions that other candidates were asked. If for example you can see that the recurring questions are related to graphs, binary search or trees, I highly suggest you first go through the blind 75 questions covering those topics and of course cover any specific questions mentioned on Glassdoor or lead code discussion pages. If time is very limited, I suggest that once you've done company specific questions, you try and move to the remaining blind 75 questions ahead of your interview. Most companies also ask system design questions as part of their interview process and again, you might have come across some questions that other candidates were asked during their process, so it would be great if you practiced those ones first. Also, feel free to check out my playlist on system design interview questions. These are some of the tips I wanted to share with all of you, which I still use to prepare for my technical interviews. Please feel free to share in the comment box below anything else you think other people might benefit from. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful to reach your goal. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it allows me to keep creating more and better content for you, all completely free of charge. See you on the next video.